Welcome everyone, it's Diana and I want to take a few minutes to speak about Halloween. Yes, about Halloween because I have a prophetic word when it comes to Halloween. Have you heard anybody give you a prophetic word when it comes to Halloween? But think about this. Why has Satan chosen this day as a festival or rather as a day to propel his agenda. We know that the enemy does not create anything. So whenever he uses something, he uses something from God, but he twists it. So how has the enemy twisted this day? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 that the enemy loves to masquerade himself, or rather Satan loves to masquerade himself as an angel of light. So his followers do the same. They love to hide. They love to show you a false reality. So even when it comes to this day, this day is important, but why has Satan twisted it to make it his own? And I have a Bible passage that I want to talk about, but think about this. What's the opposite of masquerading? It's a revelation. It's clarity. It's seeing, seeing in the spirit. So the truth about Halloween is that there is an open door because the veil between the spiritual and the natural is very, very thin. And because of that, the enemy tries to sneak in through the door. He wants to make you receive more of him when God actually wants you to receive more of him, of God, I mean. So God wants you to receive something from him. But the enemy has twisted it and is using it for himself. When you are watching horror movies, when you are watching certain things, the enemy can easily come to you during this day or during these hours because the veil is very thin, because this day is chosen by God to do something. And let me share with you what this is about. So watching horror movies, it's a no-go. Another topic of Halloween is haunted houses. So what's the opposite of that? It's deliverance and freedom. So the Father wants to free you. Whatever has haunted you is going to break. It's not going to haunt you anymore. So this is a day that is appointed by God to free you because of the demonic oppression, because of the enemy running after you, trying to destroy you. The father is saying, this is your day to get free. So horror movies and haunted houses are topics of Halloween. But think about the opposite. What's the opposite of that? That's the truth. That's what God wants to do in your home. That's what God wants to do in your life. He wants to set you free. So what's the opposite of horror movies? It's really watching something that's holy, that's set apart, something that is in the spirit, so to say. It's seeing something in the heavenlies. It's seeing something that opens your eyes. It gives you a revelation because you know that the opposite of masquerading is revelation. So it's a revelation. It's seeing something that gives you a revelation which brings you the freedom which gives you the deliverance that you need. So another thing about Halloween are costumes. So what's the opposite of that? It's revelation again, right? So ask the Lord, what is the enemy twisting? Ask God to unravel it. Ask for clarity and say, Lord, highlight the truth to me because I want to be free. Another thing about Halloween is the trick or trading. So you go door to door and knock. So during this day, there is a knocking. Going door to door means open to me. Knocking means open to me. So the Father has opened a door for you. There is an open door spiritually. So this act is a spiritual sign, but you need to understand what it means. What's the spiritual implication? The widow in 2 Kings chapter 4 went door to door and she was knocking because she wanted empty vessels. So she said, the creditor is about to come and take my two boys as his slaves. Prophetically, this is what the enemy plans with you. Prophetically, the enemy wants to make you a slave. And the Halloween acts or deeds, they are not just random acts. 
they signify something, they symbolize something. So you need to be aware of what they mean, what they symbolize. So the enemy wants to make you a slave and he wants to take your two boys as his slaves, prophetically speaking, right? Verse two, what do you have in your house? Elijah asked. She said, nothing at all. And this is how you may feel nothing at all what do you have in your house that you can use against the enemy nothing at all except a small jar of olive oil and this is all that you need verse 3 go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars does this sound familiar go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars candy all right <laughs> don't ask for just a few the word empty here means worthless, vain, or idle. And the word jar is a vestal, article, or utensil. But the word origin of the word vessel comes from a word that means to be complete. At the end, finished, accomplished, or spent. So it means finishing or completing. So there is a grace to finish your idle work that has been sitting there for ages. There is a grace in finishing what you have started. There is a grace in using your nothing because you think that it's nothing. But for God, it's the very thing that he will use today to multiply. The Lord is going to give you grace to finish what you have started. And not just that, he's going to multiply it so fast. The word borrow, it means to inquire, to request, to demand. So when it comes to candy, candy, is it worthless? Pretty much, right? It does not really have a meaning. But candy is sweet. So a masqueraded person asking you for candy, it's a sweet thing, such as honey. So honey is sweet. And God is using the word honey together with the word milk. And he's saying that I will bring you into the land that is flowing with milk and honey. So it's something sweet. It means that there is something sweet coming to you, but you are giving it away. Remember that what the enemy does has a meaning behind it. It's not just candy. And for a lot of people, they may think that this is exaggerated, but the enemy doesn't do anything without a purpose because God doesn't do anything without a purpose. Everything has a purpose assigned to it. And because the enemy is a copycat, he does everything that God does. So when God assigns a purpose to everything that he does, the enemy does the same. So you need to ask yourself, why has the enemy chosen candy because it's sweet why on this day what is important about this day what is god highlighting to you about this day so you see how this bible passage about the widow is so very similar to what's happening during halloween go door to door knock door to door and ask your neighbors for something empty vessels or candy these things they have a meaning so god is about to multiply you that very thing that is nothing to you god is going to multiply it you know that on the first of november heshvan the 17th so heshvan the 17th is tomorrow november the first it started to rain as noah was in the ark with his family so it's going to start to rain an outpour of God's goodness and grace. It will be for you, but not for everyone. Remember the video that I posted concerning the shut door. The Lord is shutting the door behind you. He's shutting the door of your ark, but not everyone has an ark. So he's shutting the door of your ark because he's about to bless you. So this has a meaning today is very important. So remember that God is about to multiply you and do not partake in a thing that's stealing your multiplication, that wants to steal what God has assigned to you. So trick or treat, either you treat them or you are getting tricked which means deceived. So why would you partake in something like that? If the enemy 
is the one that deceives. Why would you agree with such a thing? So do not be afraid of Halloween. Do not be afraid of the demonic activity during Halloween, but think about what God is doing. Why has the enemy stolen this day? Why has he tried to make it his own? Actually, this is the day that the Lord has made. So it's special. Do not connect it to something evil because it's the day that the Lord has made. Ask the Lord, what do you want to give me today? God is about to multiply you. So this is what you need to focus on. This is what you need to pray about and receive. Receive today God's goodness. Receive his healing. Receive his multiplication. Receive that multiplication that you have been awaiting. And do not engage in fighting the enemy, speaking against the enemy, speaking against witches. Just speak protection over yourself, but focus on what the Lord wants to give to you and not on what the enemy is doing. Because we know that the enemy loves to distract you when you are about to receive something from God. So today it's not different. You see that the enemy is so trying to distract you. Why is he trying to distract you? It's because the Father has something for you and he's about to bless you. So receive this word. If you want to sow into this prophetic word, the link is in the description box below. Drop a comment in the comment section below if this word spoke to you and let me know about it. Share this word with someone that really needs it today. And also I want to mention that I'm going to reopen the Sears community because a lot of people asked me about the community, but also because the Lord spoke to me in a dream about this need. So it was pretty clear to me that it needs to be reopened. So stay tuned for this. I'm going to announce it in the community tab, probably. That's it for this video. Many blessings. Love you guys and talk to you soon.